And the way we we conduct our experiment is by mon regularly monitoring uh, a few dozen pulsars. Uh, our analysis has 67 pulsars included in this that we've been timing for about 15 years, approximately once a month. Um, and then we measure the times of arrival of the pulses. Now what happens is as, as gravitational waves pass through the galaxy, they stretch and they squeeze it. Um, and then these times of arrival of these pulses are changed. So one pulsar, as it's approaching the Earth, the, its pulses will uh, come arrive a little earlier than we expect. This other pulsar is moving away from the Earth because it's being affected by the gravitational wave. And, and those pulses arrive a little later. So if you imagine, you know, the, the, the collection of supermassive black holes that were, um, that we, you know, we, we, we were seeing correlations for, as kind of like a choir or an orchestra, right? And imagine one of these orchestra members is a little bit close or is playing a little bit louder for some reason. Um, that only happens with supermassive black holes. Um, and so, and so we see uh, kind of ripples in the sky map or points that are larger, you know, have, have are brighter than other points in the, in the sky, then we'll know it's from supermassive black holes. 